Scorpio, I have an upcoming ritual on November 4th for the Scorpio New Moon. It's on a Thursday, so it's a perfect day for a prosperity ritual. The deadline is November 3rd. We will be reaping our harvest. For any inquiries, contact CosmicCandy at gmail.com. Enjoy during the holiday season as well as comfort those who may feel alone during this time. I will make offerings and dress a seven day candle for each household burned on top of your individual petitions that once consecrated, I will then mail out for you to carry with you. So let me know if you're interested. Cosmicandy at gmail.com for all inquiries. What a do, Cosmic Crew? Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Without further ado, I've got another video for you. So, we are in Scorpio season, and I'm going to start off with Miss SZA. Um, I appreciate everybody that left comments on my community post with some questions. So, let's just get into it. Okay, so I asked, is SZA's album going to come out in 2021? Is her next studio album going to drop this year? And I got the Five of Wands reversed, so there's definitely some conflict of interest. I feel like there's a lot of competition. I don't think the timing is right. And I further clarify with the death card. So, as we continue on with the reading, there definitely is an air of her being done making music she is not interested at all in releasing a project it's something about the scrutiny the pressure um but let's see okay so i asked will the album be released in 2022 and as i've been shuffling there's this overall energy i don't know who says is in a relationship with currently but that is definitely her main focus now i do see her release of music. And she might even have a child. Um, but I could see her hiding a baby. Yeah. Especially being a Scorpio. I could see her having a whole baby. And not telling nobody. That might be what she's doing now. Shit. But um, there's something about her. Um, just getting an answer is very difficult. Her mind um, is split in so many different ways. And I just mean just, just in, on an intelligent level. It's very hard for her to make a decision <laughs> because I guess maybe there's just so many options. Let's put it like that. Okay, so I asked, is SZA going to leave the music industry? I got the six of wands, so I see there is a part of her that really wants to leave on top, um, you know, kind of untarnished. Like I said, there is something about the criticism that she is really fearing as well as I could see her continuing to write. I think she wants to work in the background. She feels she excels with her pen. That's her her pen right there, that wand. But um, the pressure of, of being on the stage and a presence, that's what's wanting her just to say, nah, I'm fucky. So I asked how SZA feels about the ending of her 11-year relationship. Um, there's something about this guy. He is very abusive. He's very... Um, uh, overpowering, overbearing. So her leaving the relationship was definitely in her best interest. Um, I can see he's also a heavy drinker. Um, but it was also kind of mutual. There's like the the waters ran deep here. Okay, so I asked if is Scissors management um, really good for her career? And I got the four ones in reverse. Um, at this point, I would say there's definitely been a loss of interest in her, um, even though it felt like home. And this might also reflect back to the last um, question we asked when we got the four of wands. So she might be moving to new management um, because this doesn't feel it feels like she's kind of outgrown them. There's so many misunderstandings, um, pressures from them, maybe image wise. There's, um, and I think the uh, label as a whole is having a meltdown. Like, it's, it's past SZA. This is ground level. Yeah. So I asked, is SZA going to leave the label? And I honestly believe she would stop making music altogether um, 
before it even got to that point. Because her heart really isn't in it. Um, I feel like she thinks, from her perspective, she's she's done her due diligence. She's captivated the world. She's made her mark. And, you know, it might be time to try something new, a, a new venture, but a new label, a new management. She feels that would be counterproductive. So as I was um, getting ready to record this video, I saw that SZA was trending because of what was going on with those pictures and that photographer. And I know that there was some instances of people saying that, you know, there was more of an intimate relationship. So I was like, SZA, who is that man? And I got the God of Wands in reverse. So I would say there was definitely some physical, affectionate attention being given um, to each other. Okay, and it has definitely turned sour. There's, he is a little too hot-headed. He's a little too aggressive for her, and he does not respect her position. And, yeah, that was fucking... <laughs>